Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, so I guess this is my lucky month because I'm not having to wait until the end of the month to get my boxes. So today I have my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. So I'm so excited. So I decided, because I did take a little peek, okay, that I wanted to do a try on of some of the items that are in this box. I can't try everything on because there's some skincare in here and I'm not using that <laughs> right now. So I will go ahead and just let you know what I got in my box, show you if you want to just see what I got. But if you want to hang out, see how some of these products look on my face, then You'll get to see that in this video today. Okay, so for this month, it says, find your light. This is what is on the card. It just has some information on this card as well, letting me know that starting next month, I will be able to choose one of my products for my box, unlike now where, you know, I just get what I get. Also, I guess some people were stating that they actually want to still get the glam bag, the actual bag, even though we get our plus in a box. So next month, they're gonna start giving us a bag again. And we'll be able to pick five add-ons if we wanna purchase some other things or try some other things to get sent with our box. So that's kinda of cool, not too bad. Okay, so let me just quickly show you guys what I got and then move on to the try-on. Okay, so first I have here some skincare. It says Apto Skincare Pomegranate Mask. This is what the box looks like. Very cute. I, I like that. Now let's see what it says about this mask. Antioxidant mask with pomegranate. Backed by top estheticians, Apto removes fluff and filler to create clean skincare formulas like this soothing antioxidant rich mask. Azelaic acid gently removes dead skin cells with pomegranate and green tea to help calm inflammation and restore balance. Okay, so this retails for $36. Not bad. Let me go ahead and show you the bottle right quick because I won't be using this today. <laughs> so it comes in a cute little tube that looks like so. Very nice and I love masks. Okay, next, this is the other product that I won't be able to use today. This is the Glam Glow from Hollywood, California, Tropical Cleanse Daily Exfoliating Cleanser. I love Glam Glow's packaging, okay? Their packaging is so freaking cute, okay? So this says here, Glam Glow Tropical Cleanse Daily Exfoliating Cleanser, <laughs> formulated with ultra refreshing teoxy green tea leaf purple clay, I like purple clay, goji berries and a side this exfoliating cleanser gently buffs away dull skin cells to reveal a refined glowing complexion okay i'm gonna try this tonight okay because i need some scrubbing on my face right now <laughs> retails for 34 dollars. okay very nice next we have here from siate london extraordinary translucent powder so i will be trying this out today okay so this says this ultra blendable translucent powder from formula driven innovators siate london is finely milled magic it glides over makeup for a clean crease free soft focus finish and locks your look in all day which is truly extraordinary it retails for 22 dollars okay so I, y'all, I really don't get excited over translucent powders because, you know, I'm a chocolate girl, so <laughs> stuff is not always translucent on me, okay? But this packaging is really, really nice, okay? So we're gonna dive into this today. I'm probably just gonna use it to set my concealer under my eyes. What y'all think? I think that's what I'm gonna do with that, okay? Okay, next. I have a lip product, so I will be able to try this today. This is from Illumisqua. It says anti-matter lipstick. So it comes in this cute little black box. And this is in the color Midnight. So let's check this out. Oh, this out. packaging is really cute. Look at that. That is pretty. So it has the, you know, shade on the bottom and everything. Oh, it's pretty, a gorgeous red shade. Very pretty. Okay, so I guess we're gonna be popping with red lips today. Okay, so for this lipstick, it says, these beloved Brit purveyors of cruelty-free beauty know a thing or two about going bold. For example, this non-drying lipstick 
in a universally flattering classic red swipes on with an immediate color payoff. Its vitamin E infused formula conditions lips for a creamy application. Retails for $27. So it's a pretty pricey lipstick, but it's pretty. We're gonna see how that look on me, okay? Okay, and lastly, I have an eyeshadow palette from Nomad. And I don't have anything from Nomad, so this will be my first, I believe. It says Nomad times Berlin Underground. So that's what the packaging looks like. Very interesting. And it also says on here that this is an Ipsy Special Edition, so it's not for sale. So y'all came buying in a stove. <laughs> but this is what the palette looks like. Let me go ahead and open this up. So there is a mirror in here, as you can see, and these are the shadows. I mean, I can't say that I'm overwhelmed <laughs> right now. <laughs> Y'all know me though, y'all ain't surprised. So anyways, it says here, inspired by Berlin's rebellious 90s counterculture. And they wasn't that rebellious, okay? This 15 shade palette features metallic matte and duochrome hues like distressed black, burnt orange, and snakeskin green. Hemp seed oil nourishes lids with a buttery soft feel and serious color payoff. Retails for $37. Okay, so we are going to play around in this today. Not sure what I'm going to do because a lot of these probably look like mattes, but it's, it's a lot of shimmer in here. Honestly, this is the only one that looks like a straight up matte. All the rest of them look like they have some type of shimmer or glitter in it. So, Lord help me. <laughs> okay, so let's jump in and get started because this video is going to be long as I don't know what, okay? I'm going to go ahead and prep my lids using my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. I'm just going to put some of this on before we dive into this eyeshadow palette. Okay, you guys, I'm looking at this palette and I'm seriously like, okay, what are you gonna do? So I'm just gonna start throwing color on my eyes. Y'all know how I do. So I'm gonna go into this shade here, this green shade, and I'm just gonna place that all over my lid. Now it says these are supposed to be highly pigmented, so we about to find out. There is a little bit of kick up in the pan. It's weird because this shadow, it feels like it's like a mix between a matte and a shimmer. So, cause you can use it as a matte, but it's not like your typical matte. Oh, that color is really pretty. I like it. That's not a color that I would typically gravitate to, but it's really pretty. Now I have to figure out what I'm gonna do next. <laughs> I think I wanna keep it simple but smoky. So I'm gonna try out this black shade here and I'm just going to maybe tap a little bit of that in my inner and outer corners, just a little bit. I don't wanna lose that pretty green. Okay, so this black is very, very pigmented. I mean, I barely tapped into it, like, <laughs> like barely. Now I'm just gonna smoke out the outer part just a bit so it's not such a harsh line. Okay. I kinda wanna try out this like dual chrome shade right here. It's supposed to be a dual chrome topper type shade. So I just wanna place just a little bit of that in the center of my lid. Mm. Can y'all see that? Okay, that's pretty. I'm gonna throw on some eyeliner, put on some foundation. I'm going to use my NYX Born to Glow foundation 
and I'm going to use my Juvia's Place Concealer and then we'll come back and test out this translucent powder from Ciate London. Okay you guys, so I have my Juvia's Place Concealer blended out. So let's go ahead and try out this Ciate London Extra Extraordinary Translucent Powder. Now it suggests that I guess, you know, if you like to bake for you to pile it on and let it sit for two to three minutes and blah, 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 but I don't bake. So I'm just gonna tap it on with a brush like I normally do, if I can figure out how to open it. So I'm just going to shake it so I can get a little bit of it to come out of those holes. Oop. That was a lot. <laughs> okay, so yeah, it is very white. <laughs> very white. So look, my hopes ain't that high for this being translucent, okay? But we're gonna see, because I'm just gonna put a little dab of do ya. Oh, this stuff is very, very fine. <laughs> Jeez, this stuff is mad fine. I didn't expect it to be that fine in that light. I could see why they would say if you want to bake, you can bake with this stuff. You guys, this stuff is so freaking light. Oh my goodness. Very light. Yeah, I don't bake, so I would definitely have to be careful with how much of this I put on my face. So you guys saw, I just pressed a little bit under my eyes. I can see a little bit of white, but I definitely feel like that would be taken care of with my setting powder. So I'm just going to place a little bit in the rest of the areas that I concealed and highlighted. Okay, you guys, so this is how this powder is looking on me um, in the areas where I normally put my, you know, lighter setting powders. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments. I mean, it's really smoothing. I like it. It's really smoothing. It's very, very fine. Okay, so let me go ahead and finish the rest of my face. We'll come back, finish these eyes, and jump into this lipstick. Okay, you guys, so I went ahead, finished up the rest of my face. So now let's finish up these eyes with this palette. I just wanna go back into that same green shade and smoke out my lower lash line. I already put some black eyeliner on, and I wanna take that same bright holographic shade and use that as my inner corner pop. Y'all, I must admit, I'm very impressed with this palette. This is a palette where typically I would look at it and I'd be like, giveaway pile. <laughs> but it's really creating a beautiful look. These shadows are extremely easy to work with. I mean, you see, I'm basically doing like a one color look, blending it out. The black is extremely pigmented. I barely went into it. The green is mad pigmented. And that holographic topper or whatever it is, it's really pretty. So yeah, I am pleasantly surprised with this palette. Okay, so let's go ahead and test out this lipstick. I don't even think I'm putting any mascara on y'all because after this, I'm gonna wash my face and go to bed. <laughs> so let's go ahead and try out this Ilma Squaw lipstick in the color Midnight. Very pretty. Okay, she's pigmented. And she's a semi-matte. <laughs> Ooh, why do I feel like I need to throw on some heels and go make some change? <laughs> this is what kind of red that is, okay? Throw on some heels and go make you some change. <laughs> And with this green eyelid, honey, I can make me a pretty pity. 
I'm just kidding. Yeah, that's pretty. Oh my gosh, this is like mad red, okay? I ain't mad at it. So anyways, you guys, enough of that. This is the look I created from my September Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. The palette is a yes, definitely. The lipstick, a yes, straight up money maker, okay? The Ciate London Powder, I'm surprised. I like it. Y'all let me know down in the comments what y'all think. I mean, it's translucent. It's nice and smooth. It's extremely fine. I'm gonna be using this, okay? Now, if I got red lipstick all over my teeth, y'all, look, just ignore it, okay? But I also can't wait to try out my exfoliating cleanser and my mask, okay? So, I'm happy with this box. What y'all think, okay? What y'all get this month? If you guys are getting the Glam Bag Plus and whatnot, let me know what y'all got. So anyways, that's it, you guys. Thanks for hanging out while I tried out my Ipsy bag, and I will see you on my next video. Toodles! You ain't nothing but a hoochie mama. Hood rat, hood rat, hoochie mama. You ain't nothing but a hoochie mama. Hoochie mama.